Can I Have Your Number is easily one of the funniest skits that has ever been aired on Mad TV. It depicts a man asking for a woman's number in a movie theater using pickup lines and facial expressions that would never make any woman on earth ever want to give out her telephone number. It's comedic because some men actually think that the lines they use will get them chicks and like this man have no idea how ridiculous they sound. Sound. How does it sound to you when a man calls you babe? Personally, I think of the little pig that learns to herd sheep. It makes me think of a farm and I'm left wondering, okay, do I smell like a pig, look like a pig, eat like a pig, or sound like a pig? Yes, I do occasionally snort when laughing hard enough and I do like to pig out, but that's another story. Why do men think it's okay to give us pet names? I would like something original, like Firefly, because no matter how dark your day is, I can brighten it up, or Honeybee, because I make everything sweet. How about Sunflower, because I have uncontrollably frizzy hair, and when you wake up next to me, it's all fluffed out? Women like names that compliment them and that aren't interchangeable. We like to think that we are special, you're one and only, and when you call us babe or toots or doll, we get to thinking maybe you won't be sticking around. Speaking of sticking around, what up with men that creep? We tell you we don't want to go on a date with you, refuse to give you our number, so what's the deal? Go away! Do I need to hire a dog trained specifically to bite you so that you get the hint that I don't want you near me? That's a painful solution. Speaking of pain, I don't want to get hurt. I've been burned bad and I'm scared to open up again like a flower trying to reemerge after a fire spore, forest fire has burned down everything that I have ever held dear and made me feel safe. I need time. I can't just spill my guts to you on the first date. A date. Let's just define what a date is, shall we? It's pretty simple. He comes to pick you up. He goes to the door. He waits patiently and doesn't get mad if you're a little bit late because you were worried about how you looked. He opens all doors and shuts all doors for you and helps you into and out of the car. He pays. And he doesn't get greedy with any good night kiss that you offer him. That's what a gentleman does, and most women just want to be treated like a lady. If you treat your lady well, you get luck. Hello, ever heard of luck be a lady? Well, you have to be a gentleman if you're going to get lucky. That being said, I'm going back to dates. Change it up a bit, will ya? Particular, practically everyone has been to the movies or dinner for a date. Try doing something fun like a walk in the park or a picnic or maybe feeding some ducks. Perhaps you surprise her with a road trip or scavenger hunt. We like to think that you took effort in trying to pursue us and making sure that we have a good time. We know it's not that much of an effort to go Google the showtime and theater for movie we pick. Not that movies and dinner is always a bad idea, but it's not an all the time type thing. Look, all I'm saying is sit down and think. What will make her have that uncontrollable grin for the whole day because she can't believe how much thought you put into what the two of you are doing together? It could be something as simple as listening to what she said. For example, I went on a date with a guy who found out that I love, love, love the show Psych. So in little flowers, he brought me a pineapple. I talked about that date for weeks because even though we just went bowling, the pineapple was so original and it showed that he listened to what I said. Alright, well, I don't want to overload you guys, so that's it for this round, but stay tuned for more fun tips, facts, poetry, and maybe I'll even throw a few songs in. This is Pineapple Pizza saying good night and good dating.